I've got uh, Stephen Ridley right here. All right, so tell me about it. What are we doing? So we're going to be doing our double Django burger, okay. which is basically going to be two three-ounce patties. We just throw them on a greased, hot, hot flat iron right here. Um, and basically, what you do is what they call a smash burger. Basically, you smash it all the way down. A little parchment paper helps. And you smash it. You hold it for like maybe five to ten seconds to get that nice sear on the side. And then you move on to the other one. And it should be bigger than the, what the bun is because it is going to shrink. All right, so i got to ask, where can you get one of those little smashing devices? Uh, you can get these at HEB or Academy. Okay. They normally run around $20. Same thing for the, the basically the little, little cast iron, iron flat iron right there. Love it. And so while you're making that cook, basically sprinkle on your seasoning. Normally I do salt and pepper. And what, kind of, of, what kind of ground beef do you like to use? Got an 80 20 or? I like the 70 30. I like the battery, battery cuts. More juice. So it just basically shrinks up. Okay. And once it's basically getting to where it's cooked, you flip them over. You don't want to cook it much on one side. So this is quick. So it's very quick. It's less than it's less than a minute, truthfully. You throw your cheese on. American cheese is best. The nice melty stuff. And then while you're letting that melt, you basically get your mayo. What we do is a Valentina mayo, so it's a little spicy mayo. And then you have your chopped white onion on the bottom and then chopped sour pickles. So you don't want the sweet stuff. I like a little bit more sourness to that. And so once you're done with that, you already have your cheese melted. And then you stack it right up. And while you're letting that sit, while everyone's waiting for it to get done, it's gonna render a little more fat out, just be nice and juicy. I love it, okay, we have one of the finished, uh, this is one of the finished ones he did just a little while ago, man. And uh, it's been everything I can muster not to eat that thing. All right, we're gonna switch over to cocktails. Greg, what do you got for us? So we got an egg relish, so it's gonna be made with half ounce of agave nectar. Okay. Then we're gonna put three quarters of lemon juice in here. Okay. And then we infuse our Florida Kanye white rum with pineapple. So we're gonna put one and a half ounces of this. Shake it. Get it. Alright, chill on the glass. And then we're gonna fine strain. Get these nice little ice bits, make it nice and smooth. And then our yeah. favorite. We're gonna finish it off with some champagne fruit. Let me move that right here so we can right. see it. Okay, perfect. And then top it off to give it a nice, crisp, refreshing taste. Tell me again, what that's uh, what's the bubbly? It's a bubbly, it's opera brute. It's just a Spanish cava that we use. Man, that is so nice. And so it's this on the is menu. A, so it's on the menu right now. And you guys have, uh, there's a list of cocktails that yes, you sir. have created. You guys yeah. open Monkey's Tail July 7th. What has the reaction been? Uh, it's been really great. We had a lot of love from the neighborhood. We're pulling people from around the city now. And so people are loving it. It's slowly building traction. So and it's great that you're having us here too. Yeah, man. And just uh, in a historic part of here. Houston, you know, yes, it's a great, great neighborhood. Yeah, to be in. Lindell Park, that's where I grew up. It's a very uh, Latin traditional neighborhood that's going through a lot of changes, so it's great to be a part of that. All right, so here we go. So let's get back to I want to, I want to get Stephen back over here. So a lot of, a lot of cool stuff on the menu. We made an elote uh, earlier. You said the burger's popular. A couple of the other menu items folks need to look for if it's their first time at Monkey Tail. So yeah, we have six different style of wings. We have three dry and three wet. Um, and then we also have New York styles, like 17 inch style pizzas from barbacoa to pastor. And so we do have Mexican influence in all our dishes right now. And so it's been really popular so far with our pizzas. And especially. I, was, I was running through the menu here, lots of items really, I mean, the pricing is really good. Yeah, and we also have these things called Happy Meals, Feliz Meals that are basically uh, like the one, two, and three basically okay. combo meals that are gonna be for $8. I'm coming down there and I'm gonna be hungry, dude. Hit that. All right, guys, coming up. Some more music. We're going to finally hear a whole song from Mr. Charlie.